Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I have a fun and quick uh, gluten-free cracker and it's made with almond flour base. It is so tasty. Here I've got, um, uh, what have I got? Two tablespoons of light olive oil and you could use whatever olive oil and three tablespoons of water. Just mix that together in a little bowl and into the big bowl we're going to put two cups of almond flour. I got mine from Azure Standard. Uh, which is very tasty and organic, but you could also, I think Costco has a good deal on almond flour and Aldi as well. And uh, you just want it to be uh, fairly, not super fine, but you know, not super chunky either. Um, putting in a little bit of salt to taste, I'm using kosher salt, and then that's my Italian seasoning jar. <laughs> I use go through a lot of herbs and spices, so I keep them in mason jars usually. Um, and so I've got about, oh, about a tablespoon. You can flavor this however you want, though. You can make it plain. You can put garlic powder in there. Um, lots of different things that you could do. You can even make it a little sweet. But um, anyways, however you want to flavor it, and then just stir that around. And of course, I'll have links below. Uh, I'm going to make a recipe card for this and you'll be able to go to my blog and click on that and download that. Some people are like, oh, it's clickbait. But no, just want you to have a nice recipe card. Uh, I don't know. Some people are just grumpy. Um, anyways, so we're going to go ahead now that our dry mixture is combined. We're going to put that olive oil and water into the bowl. And just with a fork, you want to stir that around until all of that dry flour mixture is absorbing the oil. And you'll be able to see um, the change as you can see me stirring here. Um, how some of it is wet still and some of it is dry. You just want to keep kind of going around the bowl. It's not hard. It just, you know, you just want to make sure all of the flour mixture uh, absorbs some of that liquid so it's nice and moist and cohesive. And if you could, if you could leave a thumbs up and subscribe, and that would be a big blessing and that would let YouTube know to promote this channel so more people can make a crackers at home. These are vegan. These are gluten-free. These are keto. There's no sugar in them. There's no flour. There's no, in terms of traditional flour, um, just the almond flour. So I've made these before. My kids love them. We go through a lot of crackers in our family. We love a lot of cheese and, um, and we do have some sensitivity. So I do rotate in some gluten-free, uh, options and it can get very pricey. So this is a lot cheaper here. I've got a sheet tray with, uh, lined with a parchment paper. I can leave links down below for that, where I get those on Amazon. And I'm just going to pour out my, um, mixture there. It looks like a crumbling mess, but you'll be, it's like pie dough. Basically it comes together very, very quickly. So I'm just going to use God's tools there and use my clean hands. I always say clean hands and pure heart. <laughs> um, uh, I do wash them. I know sometimes people, I don't know, sometimes people don't want you to touch it or put it on anything or I'm not, I'm not really sure what, what they do in their house. <laughs> but we wash our hands and our pans and our counter and I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, people are funny. Um, so you want to get that into sort of a cohesive, the best way I can uh, demonstrate that is like if you've ever made a pie dough or handled a pie dough, it's that sort of short crust feel where it's all just coming together. And I started to, um, it was slightly wet enough that I it was sticking to my rolling pin. So I went ahead and got a second piece of parchment um, and put it on top and you can reuse these if you just brush it off it didn't really get that dirty but if you want to make another round of crackers just use this parchment as well so um yeah so that went a lot quicker now the thing with crackers okay <laughs> if you don't and you'll see what happens with mine mine got uh, i had a sort of varied width or thickness i should say um obviously the thinner they are the crispier they're going to be so um if you want a softer cracker, then don't make them super thin. Um, just make sure that you cook them all the way through. So in my oven's been kind of wonky. The door doesn't completely, completely close. It closes, but it, there's, I don't, it needs to be replaced. So <laughs> it's what it is. But um, anyway, you can do this. Um, you can do it in smaller. If you broke this up into like four, so you could probably do it in the air fryer um, or your dehydrator if you have one of those. Just trying to get it into a shape here that is going to work. And 
uh, I'm going to use my knife and just go ahead and try to make semblances of a rectangle. <laughs> We've got the edges there. You could be a lot neater and tidier and certainly uh, spend more time on it. But I was making a video and I had kids asking me things and, you know, is what we get the job done. So I'm cutting those into squares and you can eat the wonky bits too. It's fine. It's just wonky shape. <laughs> um... And then I just took a chopstick and just sort of made a little indent, um, just because. And, uh, yeah, so towards the middle there, you will see when they come out of the oven, these were a little bit softer. Still fine, still cook through, and still great for whatever you want to put them with. But, um, but if you do, as you hear, they are out of the oven. By the way, that is a 350 degree oven, if yours is working correctly. If not, you can bump it up to like 375. These were delicious, by the way, these brown bits. <laughs> Don't be fooled by the ugly appearance here, but um, they're, they're so, there's no butter in here, but they taste very buttery. Um, it is an unleavened bread, and uh, it, it just melts in your mouth. They're very, very tasty. And I was trying to break them up along the seam line there. <laughs> so I could, well, I had to take some pictures for the thumbnail, all that good stuff and the blog but um see this one in the middle here these two bigger ones and you can cut these smaller if you want like if you have um you know maybe toddlers that want tinier pieces you can definitely cut these into smaller pieces um so this one here is probably what i would call close to perfect i know it might not look it but brown is flavor <laughs> and they were very tasty and even those i'm showing you on the bottom do have some browning that uh you can tell that they're they're fine so um obviously you want to cut these into smaller pieces if you want a, a bigger stash okay so i was getting them on my plate so i could take my photo just showing you there the thickness difference between the crispier one and it's probably about almost double the size so obviously in the middle i did not get it as thin but it snapped. It just was so crispy. It just snapped. They're so tasty, guys. And if you put whatever taste, you don't have to put Italian seasoning. You can just put basil. You could just put garlic powder. You could put nothing and just make it a salt cracker. Um, they are so good. And um, I encourage you to check out the recipe link below. Um, maybe I'll even write out the recipe. I don't know. And then, But I, I do want to have a recipe card there. And uh, that way you can download it and save it. But um, anyways, yeah, like, share, and subscribe, guys. I hope you really enjoy these. The humble looking cracker, but boy, they are sure tasty. I hope you have a great day.